Hello, my awesome Cappies. I hope you're doing great. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Cappies, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Capricorn. For Capricorn's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Cappies in their life and how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Cappies in their life? <clears throat> and how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey? Oh, you letting go of some people from your life. People who have set you back emotionally, financially. Yeah, this is you not uh, allowing other people's burdens to build up on your shoulders like you've been trying uh, to help somebody uh, trying to um, take on their problems that's not the way to do it yeah you cannot fix anyone's life for them that's impossible to do yeah you can advise them if they ask for your advice but you cannot fix someone's life for them no people need to start taking accountability for their mistakes in life in order to fix their life yeah to fix the drama they created for themselves. Otherwise, they'll never learn and they will just continue draining you. Somebody is draining you financially and you're going to have to say no to them. Whether it's a friend, relative, remember you're not the bank. You're not the loan center because you're not going to see that money back and they're going to continue draining you. Yeah, they have their own financial karma to balance. Okay, they have their own financial karma to balance. <clears throat> so they're not going to learn their lessons if you continue saving them, giving them money or paying their bills or whatever it is you're doing that is draining you financially. You see this? Yeah. You're going to have to set healthy boundaries for them to respect. Learn how to say no with love, how to practice tough love. Yeah. Family members. Yeah. Your family members are draining you emotionally and financially. Yeah. And one of them in particular, the first person that comes to your mind, one of them in particular is very jealous of you, whether it's your sibling or cousin, whoever. They're showing up here as a serpent under your feet, a snake. You see this? One of, one of your family members, you may or may not be helping them financially, one of your family members is very jealous of you. Doesn't have, it's like they have ill will towards you. You see this? They showing up here as a serpent under your feet. You already know who it is. Yeah, you don't even have to think twice about it. You already know who it is because you are standing on top of that uh, snake, on top of that serpent. Uh, by the way, serpent, snake in tarot readings represents deceit, betrayal. <clears throat> you showing up as a wise man with a lantern. That lantern is very symbolic in this painting. It actually represents your intuition and your sound judgment and your wisdom. You already know who that serpent in your family is. You already know. Yeah. So, yeah. Look how beautiful your energy is. You see, that's why they're using you because you're holding a coin here. You're holding that pentacle, which they take from you. You see, they're taking a pentacle from you. That's why these justice scales are greatly unbalanced because they're taking from you unjustly. You're going to have to learn to say no. Okay, you have to learn tough love. Remember, you cannot fix other people's lives for them. Nobody can. Nobody. They're just going to continue draining you emotionally, financially, if you allow them, Cappies, okay? This is you needing to learn healthy boundaries, how to love yourself, respect yourself enough to say no to draining people, people who are toxic, who just going to use you as long as you allow them. Yeah, they're setting you back financially, and you're going to have to put your foot down and say enough is enough. Yeah, 
the universe please show us and you cannot by the way you cannot allow other people use your good credit or great credit whether you have good credit or excellent credit you cannot allow people to use your good credit because guess what's what's gonna happen they're gonna ruin your credit just like they ruin theirs and the only way you can um, stop that from happening is if you make their month monthly payments which means that they're gonna use you financially okay which means you're gonna be draining your bank account to make their payments just to save your credit okay you cannot do that to yourself people need to learn from their mistakes the only way they'll learn from their mistakes in life is if they finally take accountability for their self-created drama in life yeah they need to dig themselves out of that hole they got themselves into you cannot do it for them nobody can nobody they need to do it on their own yeah universe please show us oh boy cappies i'm so sorry you're going through so much this is tough universe please show us what's coming up for cappies how is capricorn currently doing on their summit journey oh you've been doing this for a long time why why are you doing this look at this look how look how drained you are you finally realizing you can no longer do this you see this you are so drained emotionally and financially and mentally. It's not fair to you. Yeah. <clears throat> this is you needing to slowly wean them off of you and, and realize that you're not the bank. Yeah. Look how they drain you. Look how they're draining you. They like to make you feel guilty when they feel you pulling away from them. They know how to work you. They know they're using psychology to make you feel guilty if they feel you pulling away from them. You have to be careful because they really are damaging you emotionally. Yeah, this is not a healthy situation. You need to say no. You need to say yes to self-love, self-respect, and no to toxic people who are just using you. You see this? This is you uh, very stressed out at night, not sleeping, not resting. You see, this is not good for you. Yeah, you have toxic relatives, bunch of them, bunch of them, and you need to say no to them. Yeah, because they don't care about you. They don't even care about themselves. How are they going to care about you? Yeah, you need to let them go. Do not allow them to use psychology on you to make you feel guilty like you owe them for the rest of your life because you don't owe anybody anything. Universe, please show us. You need to be wise and handle this correctly. Yeah. Do not allow them to pull on your heartstrings, emotions, feelings to make you feel sad, guilty, like you need to always be there. Yeah, this is you trying to make a clean break. You're finally realizing that it's getting worse and worse and worse as time passes by. Yeah, you see, you're showing up twice. So these people here, including this snake here that is jealous of you, um... These people here recognize that you're doing better financially than they are. You see, you have good karma with money. They have bad karma with money. They have karma to balance with money. And they're not going to balance it by draining you financially or any other way. Oof, look at this. Look at this hot mess over here. This is who they are. You see, here it is, bunch of them. So you have a bunch of them in your family. They're fighting amongst each other. They jealous, they deceitful towards each other, towards you. They very low vibration energy, toxic manipulators. You see, you recognize them for who they truly are, but you allow them to manipulate you for a while, for a hot minute now. But you finally realizing it's getting worse, that you can no longer allow this kind of behavior in your life. You see this? You see these demonic wings around them and fire and them fighting with each other? Yeah. So this is you needing to say, I love myself enough to say no to toxic people. There you go. No matter who they are. In this instance, however, they are your own family members. Yeah, look how strong you are. So you have put up with them for a very long time and their demands and their expectations. Yeah, you have put up with too much for too long. It's time to say no. It's time to say yes to self-love self-respect and love yourself enough to say no to these toxic individuals who just want to continue draining you universe i'm so sorry you're going through so much cappies 
Yeah. And what's show us what's coming up for Capis? How is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey? <sighs> You've been very patient with them, but uh, it's time to say goodbye. Yeah. Yeah, look how drained you are. I mean, look at this picture. I mean, it's self-explanatory. Look at this picture. You keep doing it because you love them, but you realize it has nothing to do with love. You need to love them enough and love yourself enough to say no to toxic people. You see this? They know how to train, drain you, how to pull you back in, how to gain your trust again. So you've been trying for a long time to let them go. You've been realizing that this is very unhealthy way for you to live your life with these toxic individuals. And you, you try to let them go and they sensed it. Uh, and they, they try to make you feel guilty and you, they put you back in successfully. Now you're going to be strong enough, wise enough to say no. Okay. They know that you need to say no to them, but they don't care. Okay. They just want to continue doing what they've been doing. Yeah. Look how beautiful your energy is. They draining you. Yeah. They draining you. Your soulmate loves you a lot, but they're not communicating effectively with you, Cappies. Your soulmate is curious what you're thinking, how you're feeling, how you're doing. Let me see what's going on with your soulmate. Your soulmate didn't even show up in this reading. They just showed up just now. Universe, you're so overwhelmed with toxic relatives. Yeah. They really, now I just realized, they're not only affecting you emotionally negatively. I'm talking about your toxic relatives financially but also they affecting negatively your relationships with other people yeah universe please show us hmm what's going on currently with the soulmate of cappies that cappies have been dealing with and how is the soulmate of cappies towards cappies at this time especially emotionally cappies i'm so sorry going through so much and was please show us what's going on currently with our soulmate of Cappies and how is the soulmate of Cappies towards Cappies at this time, especially emotionally. Oh, they're trying to be patient with this relationship, with this situation. This person loves you a lot, but they're trying to figure out if you love them or not. If this is over completely or not. Yeah, they're in love with you. They recognize they've made some mistakes in this relationship. We all make them, right? Nobody's perfect. But they feel like they owe you some kind of explanations, apologies, peace offerings. This person wants to see you so badly. They're so guarded emotionally. They're so scared of your rejection, of you saying no to them. They want to approach you carefully, cautiously. They don't want to be swayed by their emotions. They want to use their sound judgment, logic, intuition, wisdom to approach you. How to approach you correctly, if to approach you. The sun, the best card in the whole deck. This person loves you a lot. Oh, I think I'm going to sneeze. Ooh. I guess I'm not. What is this? They're checking up on you heavily. So they disappointed you greatly in this relationship. They did something that hurt you deeply. Yeah. Whether they betrayed you with somebody else, like a third party, or lied to you about something major. Betrayal is showing up here. <clears throat> the universe, please show us. And they feel guilty about it because when you add these swords, two and seven makes it nine of swords. They feel a lot of guilt about losing you. Whatever it is they did or said or both, they feel it wasn't worth losing you over. This person truly loves you a lot. Maybe they needed to lose you to finally realize how much you mean to them. Universe, please show us what is going on currently with that soulmate of Cappies. Yeah. You mean a lot to this person. Wow. They worried you're going to be with somebody else. This person that you're letting go of is in love with you, but they don't express it, don't show it. It's like hidden love, unexpressed love. They worry that if they don't come towards you, you're going to be with somebody else. So a new soulmate is popping up in your life as King of Pentacles, my favorite king of all kings. 
Someone you know from past lifetimes. You don't know how badly this person wants to see you. The person you letting go of. They checking up on you, curious what you're doing, what you're feeling. They're very slow to action. So when, when they were in your life, had a relationship with you, it uh, looks like you are broken up. Uh, when they were in your life, had a relationship with you, they were slow to action. They were inconsistent in your life. They didn't communicate effectively. They didn't commit in a healthy way. Yeah, look how stressed out they are about thinking how much they love you and that you could possibly end up with somebody else other than them. That stresses them out because they love you. The two of you had rough relationship together. A lot of breakups, fights, disappointments, heartbreak. Yeah, they realized they didn't put work into this, that they didn't, uh, they weren't present in your life like they should have been. So they learning from their mistakes. That's a good sign, right? Because we all make mistakes, but we need to learn from them. And in order for us to learn from them, we have to acknowledge them. We have to be honest with ourselves. It looks like they taking um, this time to away from you to uh, learn, uh, look at everything objectively and make wise decisions moving forward. You don't know how badly this person wants to see you. Yeah. They don't feel happy without you. They don't feel emotionally fulfilled. They feel sad. Yeah, they love you. Look at this. This person's in love with you. Yeah. They know it's going to take a lot of courage on their part to reach out to you. But that's what's going to have to happen. Yeah. Cappies, we're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate popping up in your life that showed up as King of Pentacles. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life. <clears throat> the King of Pentacles energy in your chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Cappies, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.